Irregular blood sugar and diabetes can have drastic effects on the eyes, unfortunately. It can cause blurry vision, and if bad enough, can lead to permanent blindness. So in this video, I wanted to go over three ways blood sugar can cause blurry vision. Let's focus in. Hey, howdy everybody, this is Dr. Neil Guyman, Dr. Eye Guy with a channel all about helping you with your eyes. Now, number one, blood sugar can actually change your glasses prescription, fluctuate your prescription, and sometimes drastically. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit into depth here to explain how this happens. When you have high blood sugar, lots of glucose in your bloodstream, that glucose will start to float around in the fluid in the front part of your eye that surrounds the crystalline lens. This lens is right behind the iris or the color part of your eye. Now glucose actually gets absorbed into the lens. The lens changes it to sorbitol, a type of alcohol sugar, and that changes the osmotic pressure bringing in a lot of fluid and water into the lens that causes the lens to change shape. It actually causes the lens to get thicker. And this is why the prescription changes or fluctuates because this lens, the thickness of this lens is changing or fluctuating. Now, luckily this can be temporary, especially when you get your blood sugar under control, it will get rid of that fluid that got sucked in there and get rid of the sorbitol and everything. And so that lens can go back to its regular shape and your prescription can return to normal. Number two, it actually can increase the risk of cataracts and increase the risk of cataracts in the earlier ages. Cataracts happen in that same crystalline lens that we just talked about. It actually can cause clouding of that lens, which blocks your vision. Some reports show that diabetes and blood sugar can actually double your risk of getting cataracts. And the reason why this happens is along the same lines as that osmotic pressure that changes when your glucose gets absorbed into the lens. It will change the shape of the lens. And over time, that constant change to that shape can actually lead to cataracts or clouding of this lens. Now, diabetes and blood sugar is definitely linked to a type of cataract called cortical cataracts also a specific one called a PSC or a posterior subcapsular cataract. It's a mouthful. Now a PSC is a specific type of cataract that happens on the back side of the lens. And if it crosses over the central visual axis, it can really cause blurry vision. And all of a sudden almost, some people will feel like they wake up and go, whoa, my vision got really blurry in my right eye. And they'll come in and we'll find out that they all of a sudden have a PSC and it actually just crossed their visual axis, causing that decreased vision, causing that blurry vision. Now the part that stinks here is that a cataract really isn't reversible. So when it gets to the point where it's a visually significant cataract, usually the fix is a cataract surgery to clear up your vision. Now, if you have any questions what we covered in this video, definitely leave it in the comments below. I try my best to answer all the questions down there. For number three, we're actually gonna move further back into the eye to the macula. The macula is the center bullseye of your eyes. This is where the eye is trying to focus all of the light to. This is where you have your best clearest detailed vision. Now with high blood sugar and diabetes, it can actually cause bleeding, thickening, and swelling of the macula, which can definitely cause blurry vision. This is called macular edema, and this is something eye doctors take very, very seriously. In fact, there's a specific type of macular edema called clinically significant macular edema when we're looking for cases with diabetes to see what the appropriate treatment might be. And depending on the severity, treatment could include a laser, laser photocoagulation, or an injection to help get rid of that fluid or that swelling at the macula. Now, not only could this cause significant blurry vision, but it can also distort the vision where you once saw a straight line, sometimes they might be curvy or wavy. And for this reason and the other reasons, it is very important that you go in for your eye exams. In fact, we call it diabetic eye exams because we wanna specifically and very carefully look for all of these conditions because in a lot of these cases, the earlier you catch it, the better the outcome can be. Unfortunately, there are many other ways that diabetes and blood sugar, high blood sugar, low blood sugar can affect the eyes. So again, definitely get your eyes checked, make sure everything's great. If you wanna learn more about the eyes, definitely check out my other videos right here. I'm Dr. Neil Guyman, Dr. Eye Guy. Stay focused.